Question 1. What is Code Editor? Answer. Code Editor is an open source framework for web application on PHP. It is loosely based on MVC pattern and it is similar to Cake PHP. Question 2. What are the most prominent features of Code Editor? Answer. A list of most prominent features of Code Igniter. Oh, it is an open source framework and free to use. Oh, it is extremely lightweighted. Oh, it is based on model view controller MVC pattern. Oh, it has full featured database classes and support for several platforms. Oh, it is extensible. You can easily extend system by using your own libraries, helpers, etc. Oh, excellent documentation. Question 3. Explain Code Igniter Architecture Answer. From technical point of view, Code Igniter is dynamically instantiation, lightweighted, loosely coupled. Components rely very less on each other and has component singularity. Each class and functions are narrowly focused towards their purpose. Question 4. How can you add or load a model in Code Editor? Answer. To load models in controller functions, use the following function. Dollar this greater than load greater than model model name. Question 5. How can you connect models to a database manually? Answer. To connect database manually use following syntax. Dollar this greater than load greater than database. Question 6. Explain views in code editor. Answer. View folder contains all the markup files like header, footer, sidebar, etc. They can be reused by embedding them anywhere in controller file. They can't call directly. They have to be loaded in the controller's file. Question 7. How can you load a view in Code Editor? Answer. View can't be accessed directly. It is always loaded in the controller file. Following function is used to load a view page. Dollar this greater than load greater than view page underscore name. Question 8. Explain controller in Code Editor. Answer. A controller is the intermediary between models and views to process HTTP request and generates a web page. It is the center of every request on your web application. Question 9. What is basic code editor URL structure? Answer. Instead of using query string approach, it uses a segment based approach. Its structure is as follows. abc.com slash class slash function id class represents controller class that needs to be invoked. Function is the method that is called id is any additional segment that is passed to controllers. Question 10. What is the default method name in Code Editor? Answer. By default controller always calls index method. If you want to call a different method, then write it in the controller S file and specify its name while calling the function. Question 11. Explain remapping method calls in Code Editor. Answer. Second segment of URI determines which method is being called. If you want to override it, you can use underscore remap method. The underscore remap method always get called even if URI is different. It overrides the URI. Question 12. What is helper in Code Editor? How can you load a helper file? Answer. Helpers are the group of functions in a particular category that assist you to perform specific functions. In Code Igniter, there are many helpers like URL helpers, helping in creating links. Text helpers perform various text formatting routines. Cookies helpers set and read cookies to load helper file. Use the following command. Dollar this greater than load greater than model model name. Question 13. Explain Code Igniter Library. How will you load it? Answer. Code Igniter provides a rich set of libraries. It is an essential part of Code Igniter as it increases the developing speed of an application. It is located in the system slash library. It can be loaded as follows. Dollar this greater than load greater than library class underscore name. Question 14. How can you create a library in Code Editor? Answer. There are three methods to create a library. Oh, creating an entire new library or extending native libraries or replacing native libraries. Question 15. What is stable version of Code Editor? Answer. Version 3.0.5. Date January 13, 2016.
Question 16. In which language codenator is written? Answer. PHP. Question 17. What are the features of Codenator? Open Source Framework. Answer. 1. Lightweight 2. Codeigniter is extensible 3. Full Featured Database Classes. Question 18. How to access config variable in Codenator? Answer. Dollar this greater than config greater than item variable name. Question 19. How to unset session in Codenator? Answer. Dollar this greater than session greater than unset user data so name. Question 20. Explain code editor file structure. Answer. Following are the folder structure. Dash application. O cache. O config. O controllers. O core. O errors. O helpers. O hooks. O language. O libraries. O logs. O models. O third party. O views system. O core. O database. O fonts. O helpers. O language. O libraries. Question 21. Explain application flowchart in Codeigniter. Answer. The following graphic illustrates how data flows throughout the system. Codeigniter application flow. 1. The index.php serves as the front controller, initializing the base resources needed to run Codeigniter. 2. The router examines the HTTP request to determine what should be done with it. 3. If a cache file exists, it is sent directly to the browser, bypassing the normal system execution. 4. Security. Before the application controller is loaded, the HTTP request and any user submitted data is filtered for security. 5. The controller loads the model, core libraries, helpers, and any other resources needed to process the specific request. 6. The finalized view is rendered then sent to the web browser to be seen. If caching is enabled, the view is cached first so that on subsequent requests it can be served. Question 22. Explain MVC in Codeigniter. Answer. Codeigniter is based on the model view controller development pattern. MVC is a software approach that separates application logic from presentation. In practice, it permits your web pages to contain minimal scripting since the presentation is separate from the PHP scripting. The model represents your data structures. Typically your model classes will contain functions that help you retrieve, insert, and update information in your database. The view is the information that is being presented to a user. A view will normally be a web page, but in Codeigniter, a view can also be a page fragment like a header or footer. It can also be an RSS page, or any other type of page. The controller serves as an intermediary between the model, the view, and any other resources needed to process the HTTP request and generate a web page. Question 23. Can you extend native libraries in Codeinator? Answer. Yes, we can add some extended functionality to a native library by adding one or two methods. Question 24. How can you extend class in Codeinator? Answer. You have to build a file name application slash core slash my underscore input dot php and declare your class with class my underscore input extends c underscore input to extend the native input class in Codeigniter. Question 25. How you will work with error handling in Codeigniter? Answer. Codeigniter lets you build error reporting into your applications using the functions described below. In addition, it has an error logging class that permits error and debugging messages to be saved as text files. Show underscore error message. In dollar status code equals 500. This function will display the error message supplied to it using template application slash errors slash error general dot php. Show underscore 404 page, Logera. error. This function will display the 404 error message supplied to it using template application slash errors slash error 404 .php. log underscore message level message. This function lets you write messages to your log files. You must supply one of three levels in the first parameter, indicating what type of message it is, debug, error, info, with the message itself in the second parameter. Question 26. How do you use aliases with autoloading models in Codeinator? Answer. We can autoload model like this. Dollar autoload model equals array array users model users array news model news category model. Question 27. How to get random records in MySQL using Codeinator? Answer. We can use this dollar this greater than db greater than order underscore by id random. Question 28. What are the security parameter for XSS in Codeinator? Answer. Codeinator has got a cross-site scripting hack prevention filter. This filter either runs automatically or you can run it as per item basis to filter all post and cookie data that come across. The XSS filter will target the commonly used methods to trigger JavaScript or other types of code that attempt to hijack cookies or other malicious activity. If it detects any suspicious thing or anything disallowed is encountered, it will 
will convert the data to character entities. Question 29. Who developed Codenator? Answer. Codenator was developed by Ellis Lib Incorporated. Question 30. Why Codenator is called as loosely based MVC framework? Answer. Reason behind this is we does not need to follow strict MVC pattern while creating application. We can also able to build with model only view and controllers are enough to build our application.